Hello there, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Victoria here, Radiant Moon Tarot. We've got your January and February 2024 singles reading for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you are single and looking for love, then this is the reading for you. We're covering the next two months because we've got some big energy coming in here. And uh, sometimes these things that are activated take a little while to play out for you guys. So most significantly, we do have... Pluto, who is getting ready to leave Capricorn and enter Aquarius, where Pluto will park for the next nine months or so before tiptoeing back into Capricorn for a wee bit and then back into Aquarius full time. So expect sometimes, you know, when we get Pluto coming back into a sign, especially Aquarian air sign, right? This is really about shedding and shaking off some past energies shaking away the cobwebs a little bit and getting prepared to welcome in some new energy. So prepare for change. Um, Pluto is the planet of endings, new beginnings, right? Death, rebirth. Um, this is about evolution, transformation in your life. So it can be quite exciting, might make you a little bit uncomfortable, um, but ultimately quite rewarding and freeing. Aquarian energy does bring in this sense of freedom. And so free yourself from your shackles of your past or <laughs> eight of swords at the bottom of the deck. Free yourself from any self-imposed restrictions, doubts, worries, fears, anxieties when it comes to love. Okay, so this is about looking to the future, leaving the past behind, taking with us the lessons that we've learned, the wisdom that we've gained. But expect a big shift in energy because Pluto and Capricorn tends to be slow and tends to be quite heavy um, because Saturn is the ruler of uh, Capricorn. So uh, that is the planet of big life lessons, right? So it is slow, it is heavy, it feels like there's a monkey on our back kind of thing. And the Aquarian energy is much swifter, faster, forward thinking. And uh, with this energy of Pluto, this can really be about taking your personal power back. So no Eight of Swords energy for you. No, 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 no. Time to spread your wings and fly. We have your energy coming out here, Virgo, with the Hermit card, okay? So number one, yes, stepping into your personal power, okay? So this is a time of great transformation and growth for you, where you know who you are, what you want, uh, you know what boundaries that you need to establish and put up from day one in a relationship, and uh, this is very important. The Hermit card does bring a sense of self, and I feel like some of you probably um, very much so in the first few weeks of January, and this comes with New Year's energy anyway, but I feel like you are really kind of going within and you're really doing that little bit of soul searching or you're doing some healing work, right? And you are planting the seeds of intentions for the love that you want to attract into your life. What kind of relationship? What kind of person? Are you looking for, you know, the whole shebang, the marriage, the kids, right? The big family, you know, all of those things are are you looking for something um, a little bit uh, a little bit more in alignment with who you are, right? Everyone's a little bit different. Everyone has different priorities. Some people already have children and you might be like, okay, I already have those. Thank you very much. And all I need is, a, you know, all I'm looking for is a loving, supportive, caring, committed person, right? Someone to grow old with maybe, right? Wise old sage in that hermit energy. Whatever it is you're looking for, you're going within, you're thinking about it and you're setting those intentions, planting those seeds. But the Hermit energy also has you very much in touch with your soul, with your life purpose. So perhaps part of your um, life purpose has been to shut down and close out and resolve some karmic cycles. And now that you've done that, you can move forward in a really great way. Um, light the path forward. What is going to light your lantern? In that, because this is your goals, your dreams, your wishes, as far as love goes, and you're paving your way for the future. Some of you, of course, with that hermit energy could possibly be calling in a uh, another fellow Virgo person or someone who is maybe also on their wise, enlightened path forward. But the winds of change are upon you here, Virgo. We do have the Wheel of Fortune, ruled by Jupiter, the planet of good luck, good fortune, the planet of wisdom, expansion, growth, and knowledge, bringing you in some beautiful karmic energy, shifting karmic cycle. There you go. Um, so 
this is a beautiful energy coming in here for you. Might make you feel a little bit uncomfortable as we do have a shift in the currents, right? This is uh, maybe getting out of your comfort zone a little bit, right? Jupiter does expand our horizons, okay? So get ready to take a little bit of leap of faith going forward in your quest for love. But stay open, stay open and flexible. Um, you know, try not to pigeonhole yourself too much because sometimes we find love where we least expect it. Sometimes that love blossoms from the person that doesn't necessarily match our preconceived type that we sometimes um, establish in our lives. Maybe it's an opportunity for you to break that pattern and this can be really wonderful for you. Pluto can bring things out of the woodwork, bring things out of the shadow. Um, the Wheel of Fortune sometimes can bring in surprises. So there might be something here that comes to light for some of you over the next couple of months. And uh, it can be very exciting, right? But maybe you need to make a decision whether you need to want to move forward with something, right? This can be where you do put a final closure um, on something from your past, right? And, you know, you really can sweep away the last... Uh, last bits of energy so that you are freeing yourself for moving forward and the wheel of fortune is that Jupiterian energy Jupiter also rules Sagittarius that is Sagittarius just like Aquarian energy it's very much about freedom right releasing the chains releasing the bonds so get ready to spread your wings and fly but expect the unexpected We've got the moon coming in here for you as well. Okay, so the moon cycles are going to be really important for you. The Wheel of Fortune, it reminds us of the ebb and the flow of life, right? And you are propelling forward. The moon, it can be where something hidden does come to light here as well. Now, this could be that someone reveals something to you. This was where you can possibly... Um, discover parts of yourself or discover what you truly want so you may need to get some clarity about what you're dreaming about in regards to love pay attention to your dreams with the moon card because we can sometimes our dreams can sometimes tell us a lot they can sometimes be a little bit of foreshadowing of the future sometimes uh, we can um, you know tell our own future so you might get a little bit of deja vu or something there but the moon does represent the ebb and flow of those moon cycles and we are we do have eclipses coming in here in the spring as we do every spring every autumn um and this is a big um a big energy a big shift the first few months of 2024 yes we've got pluto coming into aquarius we feel lighter brighter we feel a little bit freer and then we've got the eclipses coming in in the spring and this can really be some significant change for us as well but what we're doing in this season of change is we're welcoming in the new we wiping away the old welcoming in the new so you could very much have something come to fruition for you in the next few months now with the moon card here pay very close attention to your um to your intuition to your spiritual self um with the hermit there as well some of you are experiencing some uh, spiritual growth in leaps and bounds and this is all helping you to attract love into your life because you are getting your energy way 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 up there right so believe in the powers of manifestation but keep an open mind and keep an open heart when we try and micromanage the universe it doesn't usually go so well all right so work with the moon cycles the full moons are quite often where something may blossom may come to fruition for you but it can also represent uh, the closure, right? The endings, right? That's that um, final, um, final moon cycle is that full moon. The new moons is typically where we do set intentions for something new. So uh, whether it's welcoming in the new or an out with the old, right? Be willing to go with that energy. Get a little bit of a little bit creative there with the moon card as well, because um, the moon is that Pisces energy. So yeah, you might have a Pisces person coming in here, or we can just be really working with that moon, with those moon cycles. Thank you. That's too many. Um, Pisces is, of course, the last sign of the zodiac as well. And when we have that final energy, we then step into Aries season, right? The first sign of the zodiac. So endings and beginnings is quite the theme here for the first little bit of 2024. And don't forget, 2024 is an eight year. Two plus two plus four is eight. 
unlimited potential. Manifestation is the key. Being open, flexible, adaptable, and believe that anything is possible. And uh, it's just a little bit of magic in the air that's coming in. So try not to micromanage the universe or try and control the outcome. Okay, because I feel like here, if you wish upon a star, your wishes will come true. Okay, but we need to also be ready for action. Okay, uh, we have the lover's card. There we go. Okay, lover's card coming in. Now this is air sign energy, right? Gemini energy. So again, the shift into air sign energy can be really beneficial for you. Get you out of the weeds a little bit there with the lover's card here. Um, this can represent soulmate energy, true love, new love, right? But you might have a choice to make. Do you choose love? Who do you choose? What do you want, right? So really kind of work within self and uh, set them set them very important dis uh, intentions, okay? And then let go of control, all right? But the lover's card, yes, it can be Gemini energy here. So you could have Pisces person, you can have a Gemini person coming in or a combination, um, of everything, right? But the lover's card is also about you really raising your vibe, coming into alignment with your higher self. And this is where you have that health and harmony and balance and healing energy that's all coming in. So it's all kind of um, setting you up for the future and setting you up for love. The lover's card is also a choice, right? Do you choose love? Are you ready for love? Are you not ready for love? Maybe you have multiple opportunities, multiple suitors uh, that would be excellent, right, in your position. So, um, you know, you might have some very important decisions to make, and this is really reminding you, listen to your heart and trust your intuition. Pay attention to any red flags. The moon card can bring about a little bit of illusion, right? Things are cast in shadow. So make sure you ask questions, okay, and gain clarity if you're not sure about something we have beautiful the energy that is benefiting you the most is the eight of pentacles your hard work your dedication all paying off for you the eight of pentacles is quite positive energy actually it's one of being very productive and seeing the results right so some of you you may have been very focused on your career path right or you've just been doing a lot of work on you and sometimes we go into hermit mode to do that right we take the time out we take the step back we recognize that, you know what, I'm not ready to jump into a new relationship right now. I've got some things that I've got to work on. I'm going to focus on me. And here you are. You're right here at the finish line, right? You just got maybe a couple last little things to kind of wrap up and so that you can move forward free and clear. The Eight of Pentacles can show that some of you have thrown yourself into your work and you may have some success on the horizon with that as well. But get a little creative here okay pay attention to details but your ability here to really create a great energy and a great atmosphere is really um very much on point for you now the eight of pentacles can represent possibly i mean this is um the energy that is benefiting you the most in the next couple of months and some of you might be graduating something if you're going to go back to school at all, even if you're, you know, even if you're very much a fully grown adult, you might want to elevate your career status and maybe want to take a class of some kind, maybe a management course, because the Eight of Pentacles is where the student becomes the teacher, where the apprentice becomes the master, where the employee becomes the boss, right? And because you've got the skill and ability to do that. And um, so in this energy, if you feel inclined to go back to school, I feel like number one, it would be money well spent okay but you could also meet somebody all right in that environment whether it's a classroom environment whether it's a workplace environment okay there could just be a connection there somewhere what else do we have with this and we've got the ten of cups as well so yeah I feel like you know um, for a lot of you you've been really working really hard to make yourself a nice life because the Ten of Cups is, I mean, uh, one of the happiest energies in the whole deck, right? And this is um, really about believing in your potential, believing in your worth, knowing who you are, and knowing that the best is yet to come. The Ten of Cups is the happy ever after card, happy home, happy family, happy life, happy, happy you. And sometimes we're not always ready for love because we haven't accomplished something that we really need to, right? Sometimes it's really just a matter of standing on our own two feet. Sometimes it's about getting financially stable and secure before we 
you know allow anyone to disrupt our flow of energy right anything like that but i do feel there's some very positive vibes on the horizon for you because the ten of cups is a really positive card anyway and this is in your blessings position same with the eight of pentacles right something is about to pay off for you we've got the three of swords in reverse okay and this is in your challenge position now the three of uh, the three of swords known as your heartbreak card okay so i feel like here part of the challenge and part of the last remnants what you're dealing with is maybe some disappointment some loss now this can be the loss of a previous relationship right this can be something that didn't quite go your way your hopes and dreams are shattered just like that mirror just like that glass um, this can also be in your present situation. Maybe you've been waiting for love for a really long time and it's a challenge letting that disappointment go, right? And because we do live in a, a world, unfortunately now where it's very fast paced right? We don't stop and smell the roses. We don't take time to heal. We want everything here and now and instantaneously. And that's not always possible, right? Because don't forget when you're looking for love, it's not just you that has to be ready. It's also someone else as well. And so we do need to remember that we sometimes need to be patient and no one ever wants to be patient, right? Like, it's like, why can't I have it now? I'm tired of waiting. So that can be really challenging to work through sometimes, but I feel like it is a temporary energy. It is something that you can overcome. We've got so much healing energy coming in here that it's beautiful. We've got some positive outlook, some optimism coming in to replace the sadness or to chase away the shadows, all right, to bring you some clarity and to really get you into a good heart space, a good mind space, a, just a good space entirely, right? Really shift of your energy there. And this is where Pluto can really help you um, with that shift into Aquarius because Aquarius freedom, right? From restrictions, but also really forward thinking kind of energy there. So feel like whatever changes are happening internally within you, all for the better. We have the nine of pentacles, okay? Your advice from spirit, believe in yourself and be confident, okay? Because you have achieved a lot, you've been working hard and your hard work is paying off, okay? It's beautiful energy. Believe in yourself, open your heart, okay? Trust in your abilities to find love, but in the meantime, live your best life. Practice some self-love, self-care. When we get the nine of pentacles, we're taming our anxieties and squashing our fears. We're working through some energies in a good way. And this is this element of success, the nine of pentacles. We treat ourselves to something as well. It's a little bit of lap of luxury kind of energy. Um, very successful, very abundant, very independent in this energy, right? Filled with confidence and joy. And spirit says here, do something nice for yourself. Don't wait for someone else to do it for you. And yes, this reading does cover February. So we've got Valentine's Day in there. Woo, right. And some of that can be a little bit of a challenge there, especially with that three of swords. But it's an opportunity for healing and growth. And the thing is, is, you know, even people who are partnered up and coupled up in relationships, Valentine's Day in all it's cracked up to be. I mean, you know, we got a lot of hype and stuff like that. But a lot of people end up being quite disappointed, right? Because they have some vision as to what they want it to be like or what they want their person to do for them or whatever that happens to be. And sometimes the expectations really do fall short. Um, they in reality fall short of expectations. So in this energy, you do you, babe. Do something nice for yourself. Treat yourself or loosen the purse strings a little bit there in that Virgo energy, okay, that you possess, that you have, all right? Sometimes we're a little bit, hmm, a little bit uh, careful with the money, with the resources, but loosen the purse strings a little bit and do something nice. Buy yourself that bottle of perfume or cologne. Take yourself to the spa, have a massage, um, have a pedicure, right? Have a manicure, even if you're even if you're a guy. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Clean up your hands, right? All kind of get prepare yourself for getting out into the dating scene, okay? Or buy yourself buy yourself that nice cut of steak, right? Whatever whatever it means for you to treat yourself well, 
Okay, Spirit really wants you to do that no matter what your situation is, whether there's love on the horizon or not, whether you're just really focused on you or you're ready to get yourself out there. Okay, take care of your own needs. You will feel so much better when you do. Well, we've got the Ace of Wands here. Your manifestations are working. Okay, the Ace of Wands, a gift from the universe. This is something blossoming, manifesting in your physical world. So this is really positive energy for you here. New beginnings, new people, new connections, something very exciting for you here. With this Three of Swords, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, and so yeah. Sometimes we think long and hard about what we want. Sometimes we sit there and think, oh my goodness, I'm, nothing's working. Sometimes we need to take a different approach and that can actually be a little bit of a challenge there for some of us, okay? So, um, because we need to sometimes admit that maybe my current strategy is not quite working. I need to take a different approach, do something a little bit differently. And it's a little bit challenging to change your ways, to change what you're used to. But when we get out of our comfort zone, that's where the magic happens. With the Ace of Wands, we've got the Three of Wands. Get ready for action. There's opportunities, there's people, there's connections coming in here for you. Be prepared. Universe is doing its part. You need to do yours too. So stay open, stay receptive, right? And be ready to get yourself out there. A little bit of magic in the air when you do that. Okay, so that Three of Wands, you know what you want, you've got a plan, you've set your intentions, and boom, off to the races you go. Just be careful in this energy, because sometimes when we get in the Three of Wands, we tend to procrastinate a little bit because we're waiting for perfection. Okay, and sometimes there's a beauty in imperfection, and sometimes what we think of as perfect actually might not be. So keep an open heart, open mind. You just never know what may come your way. Ah, because we do have the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So wish fulfillment. Beautiful. You have the potential to make your wishes, your goals, your dreams come true. Look at the growth that we have in your reading as well. Just on a side note, right? We've got the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. You are growing. You are evolving. You are on the right track. You're on the right path. Even if you feel that nothing's working or nothing's happening for you, it is right? We just sometimes can't quite see it in front of our face. So whatever you're doing, keep on doing what you're doing. All right. We also have the nine and the 10 of cups, right? So what's going to make you happy? Stay focused, stay positive, wish big, dream big, because you have the potential to fill all of your goals and dreams manifest away. And then of course we do have that ace of wands, which brings a little bit of magic and excitement in there, meeting new people, trying new things. And ultimately the ace of wands is that energy that you just might need to get out of your comfort zone just a little bit. Let's get a couple more cards for you guys here. It certainly is shaping up, you know, a couple little ups and downs, right? But it is shaping up to be some very positive energy coming in there for you. We have loyal heart. Would you look at that? Absolutely beautiful. Number one, be loyal and tr be loyal to who you are. Okay. Don't compromise yourself um, uh, for, you know, to conform to someone else's expectations you be you. The right person will come along who appreciates everything about you, right? Your quirks, your habits, your behaviors, your the way you hold yourself, the way you laugh, the way you smile, all right? So don't try and be something that you're not. Be loyal and truthful to you. But the loyal heart energy also does show that it's time to open up for love. Just like the lover's card, there's true love coming in here for you. And it's wonderful and it's exciting. Pay attention. We got the message in the bottle. Whenever we have a message in a bottle, there's some sort of information coming in here for you. Whether it's a conversation with someone new, whether it's signs, messages from spirit. Quite often we do get those when we have this particular card coming in. Um, and when you're attracting things in your life or you're making change or quite often when you're right on the cusp of something, um, interesting, this is where you get, uh, an increase in the signs, right? And it can sometimes be warnings, but sometimes be heads up, heads up, heads up. There's blessings or something. Pay attention, pay attention, right? So when we see those repeating numbers, we see the shapes in the clouds, we see the insects and the animals where they're not supposed to be, right? We start having wild and vivid and crazy dreams. Some of you are dreaming about a about a, a person. You might not be able to see their face, but you know they're there. You can touch it, feel it, smell it, right? Um, some of you here are very much 
calling in a spiritual person, right? And it's exciting. So pay very close attention. Sometimes we find messages and signs where we least expect it, right? But there's some very interesting communication that is about to happen, whether it's with a new person, whether it's something in you, whether it's spirit sending you signs and telling you not to give up hope. All right, stay positive. Keep that positive outlook about the future because this three of wands shows that you have the ability here to um, remove the blocks and obstacles and clear the path to welcoming in that ace of wands, that new connection, something very exciting. So get excited here, Vir Virgo, okay? I'm gonna leave all that there. Um, I hope there was something here for you. If so, please uh, give me that thumbs up there, press that like button, free for you. It only takes a second. Um, it really does help the channel get seen. It helps the video get out there. More interaction from you is how the distribution and recommendation system works. So if you do enjoy my content, consider subscribing to my channel, also free for you and throw a comment in the box down below. Say hello, where are you watching from? It's always nice to get that feedback. So I thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful start to your year and I'll see you guys later. Bye.